You're watching Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR. Local public officials and AT&T came together earlier today to discuss new wireless infrastructure for Oneida County. Our Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Brill has more details on what these expansions will do to enhance public safety. The FirstNet network has expanded here in Oneida County, with new cell sites in the city of Rome and another by Hinkley Reservoir on the Herkimer County border. Senior network engineer Greeley Ford explains that FirstNet gives first responders the access they need to keep the community safe. So as the AT&T network expands, so does the FirstNet public safety network. And what the FirstNet public safety network is, is a, um, it's a priority and preemption for FirstNet users, public safety users, to get through when no one else can. In situations where uh, uh, there's a suddenly surge demand and service, planned or unplanned. In addition to this, AT&T has added a number of new cell sites across Oneida County, providing not only residents but also first responders with more reliable wireless service. The new cell sites uh, cover uh, Griffiths Business and Technology Park, uh, the Oneida County Office Building, downtown Utica, East and North Utica, Utica University, St. Luke's Hospital, uh, Utica Business Park, uh, Notre Dame uh, Junior and Senior High, Burstone Road intersections there. They also provide enhanced coverage to the Adirondack Bag Center at the Odd, the Nexus Center, which will be soon open. Wynn Hospital, again, which will be open uh, next year. The New York State Office Building. Sheriff Robert Mayshall says the expansion is important for planned events or during an emergency. We need to get through, whether it's calling for additional services or support services or additional resources um, or trying to get a hold of loved ones or, you know, family members of maybe someone that's, uh, you know, in need of something. We need reliable service. We need reliable communication. And FirstNet through AT&T with their expansion, that gets us to where we need to be. Reporting in Oneida County, Lauren Brill, Eyewitness News. Happening locally tomorrow is the return of